Hello wonderful people, it's Genevieve. In this video we are going to draw some watercolor mushroom in Procreate. So open up the app, create a new canvas, and let's start drawing. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is create a new layer. And we're not going to sketch anything, we're going to go straight in with um, drawing the stem of the mushroom. And there are so many different colors and so many different uh, type of shape that you can use for the stems. So feel free to go on Google and look at a bunch of different mushrooms and pick the one that you want to use because the technique is going to work on all kind of different mushrooms. I personally will be using the Ultimate Watercolor Toolbox in this tutorial. It includes a bunch of really cool stuff such as watercolor brushes and a pre-textured watercolor file for Procreate. If you want to check it out, I will link it in the description below along with a promo code, but otherwise you can still follow along using your favorite brushes. So if you do have the Ultimate Watercolor Toolbox, grab the basic watercolor brush and just draw a very simple shape that you want your stem to be like. We're also going to create a new layer on which we are going to draw the cap of the mushroom. And just like for the stem, there are a lot of different colors that you can use and a lot of different shapes. So that's totally up to you. I'm personally going to be drawing the very classic red mushroom with, uh, you know, the white little dots on it. But like you saw in the example in the beginning, there are so many different types of mushrooms. And I mean, who says you have to be realistic? You could even draw like a blue mushroom with um, pink stripes on it. <laughs> really, that's totally up to you. If the cap is not exactly where you want it to be, you can also use this arrow tool here and just kind of with your fingers uh, move it around and place it where you want. You can also kind of change the shape. If you set it to distort, you can kind of, um, yeah, play with it. If you're happy with it, that's great. We're going to kind of fix this overlap that we have here, especially if you're using watercolor brushes, you're probably going to see that happen. And the way to do it is really easy. We're just going to use the eraser. But just a cool trick, if you do use the Ultimate Watercolor Toolbox, you can double tap on the eraser tool here and access the brush library. And I recommend that you use the color shifting brushes as the eraser in this project. And you're just going to erase this weird overlap here. It's just going to look a bit better. We're now going to add some color variation to the mushroom to make it a bit more interesting and more three-dimensional. So make sure you are on the cap layer here. And with the selection tool set to freehand, focusing on the bottom part of your mushroom as well as the right side, you're going to draw some sort of a squiggly shape like this that you're then going to feather around 20%. You're going to open the adjustment panel and select hue saturation brightness. And you're going to lower the brightness a little bit and maybe uh, lift up the saturation. You can now deactivate your selection and you see you have some sort of a some shadows on your mushroom. We're also going to add lights using the same technique, so go ahead and go back with your selection tool, but this time we're going to focus on the left as well as the top of the mushroom. And again, feathering the selection around 20%. Going back to hue saturation brightness, this time we're going to lift up the brightness and maybe lower the saturation so it doesn't become um, too much of a neon color. Great! We're going to do one more selection, this one funky one, doesn't matter where it is. And we're going to feather this one around 50%. And this time we're going to change the hue a little bit. And you see if I go crazy it becomes like a totally different color, but basically that's going to just make your artwork a bit more interesting and more vibrant. We're going to do a similar technique on the stem here. So going back to your selection tool, making sure your stem layer is selected. We're going to select the part where the stem connects with the cap as well as the bottom. And we're going to feather this around 20% again. Hue saturation brightness, you're going to lower the brightness and lift up the saturation. Again with the selection tool, this time we're going to select just the left side of the stem and feather it around 15% and lift up the brightness as well as lower the saturation. Just so slightly. 
So you see now your mushroom has some sort of a three, three dimensional feel to it, but we're going to add even more of it by adding some lights on the cap. So select your cap layer and making sure your eraser is still on color shifting blotches. You're going to erase a little bit on the top left part of your cap. And just ever so slightly a little spot here on the bottom right as well. Now you see if we zoom out, it looks really cool. It's like there is some light uh, bouncing on the mushroom. We're also going to add some dirt on the bottom part of the stem here. So go ahead and select your stem layer and we're going to activate alpha lock. And to do that, when your layer is selected, you just tap on it and it opens a menu here and you can click on alpha lock. And you're going to see that the layer um, here kind of has this checkered pattern in the back. And what it does basically is that whatever you're going to draw on this layer is going to stay within the color that was already on the layer when you activated alpha lock. So in our case, we're going to use the color shifting blotches if you have the ultimate watercolor toolbox. Otherwise, you can pick a airbrushing brush here. And we're also going to pick a nice dark brown color. And we're just going to draw on the bottom part of your mushroom some, some dark spots. And you see it stayed within the color that was already there. This next step is kind of depending on the type of mushroom that you chose. Um, but in my case, I want to add some white speckles on the cap. And to do that, I am going to select the cap layer here. And I'm going to use the salt brush. The color of the salt brush doesn't matter. All that matters is that you drag from a white section of your canvas towards the color. And you can see that it adds some really nice white speckles. So you can change the size a couple times so you have different sizes. And now you have some really cool texture on your mushroom. You can also add some colored speckles by creating a new layer and setting it to blending mode here, clicking on the end here, um, setting it to linear burn, and picking the color you want your speckles to be. In my case, I'm just going to go back to my red here and grabbing this splatter brush from the Ultimate Watercolor Toolbox. You see if you draw you see it's going to add some really cool um, splatters on your shape. We're now going to add some really cool outlines and textures to the mushroom to give it sort of the um, classical botanical book feel. So we're going to create a new layer and we're also going to change the blending mode of that one to multiply this time and we might have to lower the opacity, I'm going to say 50% for now, but we might have to readjust. And we're going to pick a nice um, gray brownish type of color, as well as a sketching brush. In my case, I'm going to use the coloring pencil, but feel free to use any sketching brush that you know you like. And we're just going to really quickly kind of outline the color here. And we do want to have some sort of the doubling line effect here don't want to have just some line art, like perfect line art that you would see in cartoons. That's not the look we're going for. We're going for something that looks more organic and handmade. Great. Depending on the type of mushroom that you're drawing, you might want to add some vertical lines on the stem to kind of give it more texture. And some mushrooms even have lines on the cap like this, but not this one, so I'm just gonna undo what I did. But feel free to add some to yours, that is totally okay. We're going to create one more layer and set it to linear burn. <laughs> and again, I'm gonna lower the opacity to 50, but we might have to kind of rearrange that. And we're going to add some really nice crosshatch uh, shadows. So sticking with the same color, same brush, you're just going to draw some thin diagonal lines where the shadows are on your mushroom. So for the stalk, it's probably going to be, oops, yeah, 
for the stock, it's probably going to be where the cap connects with the stock as well as on the right side. And you can see I'm going really quickly because we're going to tweak it later. And you might add some on the cap here as well. Maybe a little bit here on the left. Keep switching to the eraser, I'm sorry. <laughs> so a little bit on the left, just like that. And you can even have some spot in the middle. That's going to show that your mushroom is not perfectly smooth. It has some sort of a, you know, some cool textures to it. So feel free to add a little bit in the middle part of the cap as well. And that looks a bit crazy right now, so I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit. Not too much. And I'm going to grab my eraser again, still set to color shifting blotches or airbrushing. I'm going to go over kind of the ends of my, um, my lines, so kind of the pointy parts. So you can do it on the stem as well. And while we have this eraser tool selected, go back to your outline layer and just erase the outlines on the part of mushrooms that are a bit lighter. So probably on the top left of the cap as well as on the left side of the stem. And that just opens up the illustration a little bit and make it feel more bit more soft. So there you go, that is the basic technique to draw a watercolor mushroom in Procreate. There are so many different types of mushrooms that you can create, um, like we saw in the example at the beginning, if I group these layers. You can use this technique to draw just a bunch of different mushrooms. And if you do use this tutorial, make sure to share the results with me either on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have an idea for a tutorial you would like to see, comment below. And don't forget to subscribe because I put out new videos every week.